Okay, guys, good morning again. Hem zero sugar go sugar. Stuart in Pudsey. Um, next video is the transmit and receive video. If you press and hold your display and go into TX and receive, uh, I think there's nine menus in here. Uh, if I just flick through them quickly, yeah, nine menus. Okay, analog mode select, quite easy. Um, are we going to be transmitting on FM or AM? Um, the answer is <laughs> FM. Uh, so if that's highlighted, click the back button. Mic gain. Uh, depending on uh, what deviation you have, um, you might want to set this on normal if you're on uh, wide deviation and high if you're on half deviation. Um, I'll explain that when we get down to the deviation side, but uh, yeah, uh, at the moment I'm going to say it's a normal and uh, we'll go down to AMS TX mode. Uh, in here you've got automatic, which is what I have it set to for repeaters, etc. So uh, if I'm on a fusion repeater, um, I can, uh, if somebody keys up in FM analog and I'm going into the repeater on digital, it'll automatically switch my radio down to uh, analog so I can hear the call. Um, some systems don't do this, so uh, uh, digital never intermingles with FM or analog. Uh, Fusion system allows this feature um, so that uh, you can hear if somebody's trying to put a call out on the repeater or you can, um, if somebody wants to break into the queue so that you have been on the repeater in digital uh, all digital radios will be switched down to uh, to FM, uh, allowing them to join the queue, so and that way we don't leave anybody out. Um, you can also preset these, um, so you can set it to TX manual, uh, TX FM fixed, or TX digital narrow fixed. Uh, there's some others, uh, VW, which is um, voice wide. Voice wide um, uses the total bandwidth available, um, which is 12.5 kcs, uh, for just voice data. So when you're in voice wide, you don't send any location data because it's concentrating all the whole of the bandwidth on uh, on the uh, voice data. Um, DN uh, does 6.25 kilohertz of voice and 6.25 kilohertz of data. Uh, so it sends your location etc uh, down one half and your voice down the other half um, but we'll carry on and that's it you've got five menus in there um, basically I tell everybody that I know to use uh, automatic mode select uh, for the basic reason it's it's a dual band radio and it's dual mode it can work FM analog and F FM digital and uh, like I say, there's uh, there's no point in having a digital um, cube so if uh, an FM station can't break in. Um, like I say, we don't want to leave anybody out, so it's a, it's an handy feature to have. So we'll just move off that. Uh, digital squelch type. This is where it gets interesting. Obviously, digital squelch. You can have it off. You can have it as code or or as a breaking. Um, if you set it up as a code, um, you can basically choose a number, uh, which is down here. Uh, each radio has the same number input, input into it, and as you can see, you've got a lot of uh, codes that you can choose from, 126. Um, and basically, unless somebody hits the right number, they're not going to hear what you're saying. Um, it's not encrypted, obviously. It's still in digital mode, so it's, it doesn't break the, uh, the license agreements but it uh, it just uh, allows you to have a quiet queue so uh, with somebody that you want to uh, speak to uh, hopefully or on something private but uh, yeah we'll go to that further later on in a different video okay pop-up time um, this is the uh, when you're in uh, DN mode and you're sending your location data i.e. how many miles you are in the queue so away from the person you're talking to uh, you have a little pop-up that comes up with your call sign and your distance away from the uh, from the other operator. Um, this basically allows you to select how long that stays on for. 
so you can have it on continuous so you can have it on uh, off completely so there's no pop up I set mine to 8 seconds I think that's long enough to figure out who you're speaking to and how far they are away so we'll move on uh, location service mm -hmm. um, this is basically um, you can have the distance you're away from somebody either on or off um, if you turn it off uh, obviously they'll just see your call sign and not the distance you are away uh, if you leave it on like I do um, then you know uh, how far your queue so is going very useful I was talking to uh, M0 TCP in, in Birmingham and uh, yeah his his was switched off uh, mine was turned on um, but the queue so was 90.69 miles away uh, courtesy of Google Earth thanks for that uh, I'll just move on uh, standby beep tells you on or off uh, set it as you would like if you want to hear a beep put it on if you don't want to hear a beep turn it off sorry about the out of focus video there I'll just let it get back uh, I leave mine on uh, beeps don't bother me half deviation uh, this is the difference between um, on or off so you're either wide or you're narrow um, if you're using repeaters such as YW, always have your narrow deviation on or half deviation on. Uh, the reason is, is is if you're going wide, um, it clips uh, because the repeater sets a narrow. So uh, put your half deviation on, and if people say you're too quiet, then go back to your mic gain menu and turn that on to high, and that'll improve your audio going out. Uh, but yeah. Uh, half deviation is narrow FM, uh, with it off it's, uh, it's wide FM. So that's a quick video on the TX and receive features. Uh, have a good day, M0 Sugar Gold Sugar Stuart in Pudsey. Uh, 73's and I'll come back with another video later.